The Great Storm of 1900 still stands as the deadliest natural disaster in United States history. Eight to 12,000 people died, mostly by the near 16-foot storm surge. Chief Meteorologist Anthony Yanez joins us live from Galveston Island right now with how much forecasting has changed in the past 125 years. Anthony. Yeah, Keith, uh, one of my favorite books about the 1900 storm is called Isaac Storm. It's about uh, Chief Meteorologist Isaac Klein, who was the uh, head of the U.S. Weather Bureau, or what is today the National Weather Service. Now, he taught that Galveston was immune from hurricanes, that there could never be a devastating storm here. So that's what the science believed at the time. Of course, we know what happened. And he even fought against building a seawall prior to 1900. But that seawall is here today, but it has changed a lot in the past 125 years. The seawall after the 1900 hurricane was built to 17 feet. Yes. But today, it's not 17 feet. How's that? So it was built 17 feet above mean low tide, which was about 15 feet above high tide. But the seawall was built between 1902 and 1904. Since then, the island has sunk. There's a lot of subsidence or sinking in this part of the world, and also sea levels have risen. So when you combine that, actually the sea, the seawall today is only about 12 feet above high tide. The residents of Galveston who live beyond the seawall feel like it keeps them safe from everything. There's definitely a local myth that, hey, the worst has already happened. Happen, right? It can't get worse than the 1900 storm. We did not have a seawall. The elevation of the island wasn't raised. And so I think there is a complacency here that we're protected from hurricanes by the seawall. Dr. Howe, we've come to the end of the tour. Well, tell me a little bit about if, each storm, if you yeah, want. Let's for start sure. at the bottom. So people might say, well, Alicia was a three. Why was it not pushing more water? It was a lot like Hurricane Barrel in 2024. It was really intensifying right at the last minute, making landfall as a, as a hurricane that produced some wind damage, but not enough time to push a lot of storm surge. Carla, massive, geographically massive storm that hit down the coast. The water level is here because the, the landfall was down by Matagorda Bay, over 140 miles south of here. But it was so so intense and so large it pushed a big storm surge here into Galveston Island. 1900 storm, 1915 storm. Again, this was a higher high water mark when we get east of 12th Street, east of the debris dam. But downtown, again, pretty pretty substantial. 1915 also a Cat 4 uh, with producing a, a pretty big storm surge here on the island. And then Ike, really interesting, Cat 2, maximum sustained winds of 110 miles an hour. But it was so geographically big that it was bringing water in from the harbor for days. And so Galveston actually Actually flooded from the harbor side and this is the highest high water mark that we'll find in downtown Galveston from Hurricane Ike in 2008. Wow. All right, Dr. Thank you so much for your thank time. You. Appreciate it. That was a great tour.